What's the point of boudoir photography? Are you curious about getting into boudoir? Maybe you've heard people are making money, it's the hot new thing, maybe you just like it, I don't know. But you're not really sure why people do it or why it's a thing? Well, I'm gonna give you a few different reasons most photographers choose boudoir photography. And you can combine these in any way you want to make it all your own. I'm gonna give you three reasons. And the fourth thing I'm gonna cover at the end is super important, do not check out early. It's showtime. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd, and I run a multi six figure boudoir studio in Silicon Valley, California, and I freaking love what I do. When I first got into photography, I wanted to be like that famous red carpet photographer that got invited to all the celebrity events. I was like the cool guy that everyone wanted to hang around. It was basically all for me. I wanted to be a celebrity. Here's why I won't do two shows a night anymore, babe. Then I started actually photographing people and realizing that wasn't validating and the real pleasure and joy and fulfillment I get from what I do comes from the impact I make in other people's lives. And then because of that, I get invited to all these cool things. But if I was just wanted to be super famous, none of this was ever going to work out. And I feel that that's the case with most things, whether it's music or cooking or whatever you want to do. Do it for the sake of being famous, probably not going to get you there. So why do people choose boudoir photography? The sustainable ways? There are three big ones. One, to empower your clients. Two, to make money. And three, to take sexy photos. And the fourth one that I'm going to cover at the end, super important. I'm going to surprise you when we get there, so don't check out early. First one, to empower your clients. I did not truly understand the power of boudoir photography until I got in it and my clients gave me feedback. I never just wanted to take sexy photos. That wasn't my thing. That doesn't stimulate me creatively. And you know, when I get into photography mode, it doesn't really matter what my clients are wearing. I don't care. They could be in garbage bags and raincoats. I'm still gonna work with them the same. My brain gets into work mode and I create stunning photos. Boudoir photography was just another genre until I learned what I do for people. And I help women reconnect with themselves when, you know, they're working mom who's got kids at home and a demanding job and they're taking care of a relative and they have so much on their plate, they haven't made themselves a priority in decades. And maybe they're just out of a long-term relationship or an abusive marriage and they don't know who they are anymore because they haven't had their own identity in so long. They don't know what to do with their time, who they are, who they should be, who they could be. And doing these shoots allows them to help reconnect with that side of themselves. My maternity clients, maybe it was, you know, a really hard, stressful road to get pregnant and it took them years and a lot of medical help. And now they're finally having their first child and it's not been a great pregnancy and they want to remember it in a positive way. And this is a way that we can do that. There are a ton of reasons that people do boudoir sessions and they're significant. We make a real impact in somebody's life. And once I started learning those, all the, the vanity BS that I was after before, none of it even matters. I don't even consider any of that anymore, which again is funny because like I get on stages at events and I get invited to these cool things, but none of it's because I wanted to be famous. It's because of the impact that I've made on other people's lives and they bring me into those spaces. So you have an opportunity to really change people's lives, help them see themselves in a different way, which then makes them perform better at work and makes them better in their relationship, in their family. That energy that you help create spills over into every other part of their life and you get to make the world a better place. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, number two, it's a very profitable genre. You can make a lot of money doing this. I know photographers who are making 300,000, 500,000, almost a million dollars in all different parts of the country. We're not talking New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Paris, places with a ton of money. We're talking like rural Minnesota. We're talking middle of, of Alabama, Arkansas, small towns where people aren't making multiple six figures, but these photographers are making an impact in people's lives and they're making a ton of money. You can do that too. Now, if you're only going after this for the money and you don't actually enjoy it, it's gonna be really hard to sustain. 
However, if you build the systems, if you start shooting, you get the marketing systems in place, everything built into a system that is replicable and scalable, you can hire people to come in, take over all of those things, and you can just run the business. You don't actually have to be behind the camera. So you can run a profitable business, make a ton of money, and never actually do the photography side if you don't want to. Or you can partner with somebody else who loves business, and you just want to take photos, you'll make a ton of money that way too. It is a very, very profitable genre, and you can incorporate it with other things. Doing bridal boudoir might lead you to engagements and wedding. Uh, maternity boudoir could lead you to newborn family photos, things like that. There's a lot that can come out of this if you do it right. And you can definitely do it right because you have resources around you like the boudoir guild. All right. The third reason somebody might want to get into boudoir is to take sexy photos. I'm not judging. I think if you just want to do that as a hobby and take sexy photos, groovy, you know, be transparent with what you're doing. Just don't be sketch about it. Don't be creepy. Don't lure people in under the promise of something just to see them in their underwear. That is so sketch. Do not do that. Do not do that. But I don't believe that you would because you're cooler than that. That is a reason some people get into this genre. I'm not for it. It's just, it's also not sustainable. I think eventually you would get tired of it and it'd be really hard to continue wanting to do it. But everyone's got their own motivators and it's a combination of these things. I love photographing women in whatever outfits they want to wear and seeing them in these different states of dress is dropping their armor and they're becoming vulnerable. They're choosing to get vulnerable in this state and they find this new confidence and they have this swagger by the time they leave my studio that they did not have when they walked in. They were like nervous hands shaking and now they're strutting around like they own the place. It is such a cool thing to see. That is way sexier than like a provocative pose with somebody's high heel stuck into their underwear laying on the bed chewing on the end of their finger, in my opinion, right? I'm also not in business to be attracted to my clients. So that's also a boundary that I've set. And it's just not where my brain goes when I get into this environment. So if you are going into it because you want to take sexy photos, I think it's going to be difficult to make money in the long run uh, and to genuinely attract people who want to pay what you're worth because they can find photographers like that, you know, in Facebook groups and meet up and Craigslist for very little money if they just want photos in their underwear. But again, you can love feminine form and beauty, um, or photograph men, do whatever you want and appreciate that beauty. That certainly should be a part of it, but I really don't think it should be the only reason that you get into boudoir. All right. Now the fourth thing, super important, your reason can change over time and you'll find different motivators. So maybe you got into it because you knew it was profitable and you want to make a difference in people's lives. But now you realize you're also creating freedom for your own family. You're bringing in enough money and you have people second shooting for you and an office manager managing the day-to-day -day stuff that you can go on vacations. You can go to all your kids' sporting events. And that's a new reason to get into boudoir because you're making a difference, you're making money, and now you have all this freedom. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. And maybe you got into it because it was profitable and then you realize the kind of difference that you're making in people's lives and that's your new favorite reason. Things will change over time. Your motivations will, and that's okay. If you really just want to take sexy photos right now, Maybe once you get rolling, you'll realize there's so much more to it than that, and you'll have different motivation to keep going. So either way, whatever gets you through it, groovy. These are the reasons most people get into boudoir photography. I would just encourage you to go after a reason, to go after anything in your life that is going to be sustainable and make people feel good. Don't be a creeper. And if you want to learn more about running a photography business, I've got a great video, How to Run a Boudoir Photography Business. Go check that out. Uh, I'll drop the link below. And if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to do all of these things, head over to boudoirguild.com. You are amazing. I will see you inside.